Doctor, have you been avoiding wine and pasta? Well, it may be good for you. Dr. Emily Cooper from the Diabetes Institute joins us now to talk about the Mediterranean diet. You say, this is not a fad, this is kind of a way of life for a lot of people. It really is, and it's the opposite of what we think of today as all of these deprivation diets. It's truly a lifestyle, and it has ancient roots from long ago, and it originally was focused on olive oil, bread, and wine, and later... I told you I was going to put salivating <laughs> right now. It's true, and it later it incorporated other foods from the region, fruits and vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes, nuts, sheep cheese, fish, and just small amounts of meat. So what are yeah. the health benefits? Well, the health benefits are really varied. You know, the thing to remember about it is it's really the original farm-to-table lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It goes really beyond <coughs> just the nutritional aspects of the food. But the health benefits are just numerous, including reduction in type 2 diabetes risk, reduction in obesity, cardiovascular disease, even potentially Alzheimer's and dementia, and improvement in our gut flora. What do you tell people? Because we hear so much these days about, oh, avoid the carbs, cut yeah. the carbs. And I know you're, you're, yeah. you're anti that. <laughs> anti that. Um, uh -huh. But with this, you're, you're, you're getting carbs, but you're getting, you're getting protein, but not, not red meat protein. Yeah, not as much. And in fact, the diet is the opposite of low carb, low fat, because what it is is it's 55% carbohydrates, and it's only 15% protein, and about 30% fat. And the carbohydrates are also including starches, and some of them are really beneficial starches called resistant starches that come from whole grains, beans, legumes, and even pasta. And then the fats come primarily from monounsaturated sources, which is the extra virgin olive oil, the nuts, and then the omega-3s from fish, and also walnuts, <laughs> getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and then a lot of antioxidants from colorful fruits and vegetables. And together, some of these foods actually have been found to boost this really potent, beneficial gut hormone that prevents diabetes and obesity. So it's really fascinating. And, and there really are small amounts of meat in the diet. I think everybody thinks, this sounds great. How do yeah. I start? Right. Go. <laughs> so how do you start? <laughs> <laughs> I would just keep it simple and just focus on just real food in its natural state without the chemical additives, really. And think about it as more of going beyond just the food and enjoying the food with friends and family. And the other thing to think about about the Mediterranean lifestyle, it doesn't involve spending hours in the gym. It's really more about fueling your body so that you and your family have the energy to really live an active lifestyle. So it's really a different thing. It's not really a diet or a fad or a short-term type of thing. It's a way of living. And again, everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're always, my mother in my area. Yeah. Everything in moderation. Right. right. And <laughs> when we don't restrict ourselves, usually we naturally do that. It's when we start restricting that it starts swinging Bounce a pendulum back. the other way. Right. Yeah. Dr. Emily Cooper, thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Good to have you in. Good to see you.